What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Amalgam Show. I'm one of your hosts, Keena Johnston, alongside Kyron Johnston. Hello. And Nathaniel Redden. Hello. How are you guys going? Pretty good. That's yeah, good. yeah, all right. Can't complain too much. Sorry? Can't complain too much. No one listens. <laughs> <laughs> right, <Righto>, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the uh, Amalgam Show about, Nathaniel? Big boys and big toys. <laughs> you're wrong. We have no toys on this show. We are broke. <laughs> um, it's about big pop culture things that we care about. It is, yeah. and the little ones. And no, <laughs> <laughs> that's just you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, check out Malcolm's Games Lab. Where Shannon and I, what did we do? We predicted the game show, a game awards. That's what that's called. That was fun. We went through all the news. We thought. Splinter Cell would be there. It wasn't. No, Splinter Cell's not coming back. Everyone just needs to accept that. No, it, well, it is. No, it's not. You're in denial. No, Ubisoft pretty much has said without saying that it's coming back. Oh, okay. When? Who knows? Never. Next week. Uh, no, no, next gen probably at this rate. Yeah. Um, you can support us at Patreon at patreon.com slash show. Give us some money. You can subscribe to the RSS feed. Please and thank you. That would be great. And then if you have any comments for the show, please comment. If you have any questions for the show, please comment below. Email us at amalgamshow.gmail.com. Leave a like and subscribe. Yeah. Yep. Do you guys all see those that things. Avengers 4 trailer? Ring the bell. What? You guys see that Avengers 4 trailer? Yeah, yeah. No, just saw it. You just showed us yep. the Avengers 4 trailer. Up in it's the... just more of a question leader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty good, eh? Yeah. They should make one of they should make it. They should make a movie out of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so it's called Avengers Endgame. Do you like that title? It's a little misleading because it makes it sound like it's gonna be the last Avengers movie, but we all know it's not. No, it's not. It makes far too much money for it to be the end. It'll be the end for this lot of characters, like this specific group of Avengers. Yeah, if we're gonna get the new Avengers or Avengers Junior. <laughs> Young Avengers. We probably are getting that. Yeah. That probably. Happened. Um, what do you think? You, yeah, I have a lot of questions, but what are your questions, Go. I just want to. Oh. Sorry, before. Sorry. <laughs> no, uh, End Game. It was like people figured out that was the title when Avengers: Infinity War came out. Yeah. But then the Russo brothers came out like a month after that did, and then like they're like it's not called End Game, so they straight up lied to us. But mm-hmm. like it was said in the movie, and it was like. It's got to be Endgame. Like, that's it. The Russo Brothers like, no. That's why for like the last month or so, everyone's been calling it Avengers Annihilation. Oh, okay. Deci- Deci- like, decimation. Okay. That's what they... Decimation as well, yeah. That's what they've officially called, called the snap. It's called the decimation because it reduced, like, all of population to a decimal point by, like, half. It's that's, also that's, an that's, event that's yeah. been used to... In Marvel Comics, like when all the mutants died after mm. Scarlet Witch said no more mutants. Yeah. Um, that was a decimation. There's been a couple of decimations. Yeah. But Annihilation the... implies usually a Nihilus. Who I don't yeah. really know who that is, but I just know he's like a big, big, bad, bad. Yeah. Uh, triple B. Yeah, but like, no, like, I understand why they call it the decimation because literal translation of decimation means to decimal. Hmm. Like reduce something to a decimal, which if you're halving the population, you've gone zero point five. No. Yeah. Of the kind of anyway. Yeah. Uh, what were your questions? For Avengers. Yeah. Um, I want to know what happens to Tony Stark. That's the main thing. Yeah. That's my phone. It I just is. ignore it. <laughs> I just am I hearing things? No, I um, it too. he. I don't know. He's gonna get get out. This person is. I just realised he'll probably be saved by Captain Marvel. Who? Captain Marvel. Yeah, who will be saved by uh, Tony? Tony. Stark. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, no, because I saw a article where it's like redacted. We think this person's gonna save uh, Iron Man. I'm like, who? Who? Because I didn't want to read it, and I'm like. Is Captain Marvel. It's got to be. Yeah, she's the only one who can fly around in space and shit. Nick Fury. (laughs) (laughs) Dead. Rock up on his moon base. (laughs) Is he? (laughs) Or was that a Nick Fury clone? Or an LMD. Maybe they call him Nick Fury because it is the clone. The real Nick Fury is called Nick Fury. And he's the white guy. No. 
<laughs> I don't want David Hasselhoff. Oh yeah, my God, true. no, fuck. The, why would that be Dable, David Hasselhoff? Because he was in the '90s TV pilot that never got picked up. Yeah, that's why. No <laughs> one likes David Hasselhoff. Fuck David. you, Germany. What? He's really big in Germany. Oh. So fuck you. Jesus Christ. Fuck <laughs> you. Um, any other questions? Uh, want to know what the hell Nebula's doing? Chilling until she kills Thanos, probably. Mm, she's like, ah, dad made me angry. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's just that's sulking. been the whole series, though. That's been her entire arc. She's her just sulking character. on her room in, on Titan. Just, yeah. <laughs> dad made me angry. <laughs> <sighs> give me electronics, dad. I'll give you electronics. <laughs> you want a phone? I'll put it fucking in your arm. <laughs> um, you know, it's... Hmm. My thing with the trailer is you can't speculate too much from it. Like the only thing is like how Tony's gonna get out of there and how does Scott Lang get out of the quantum realm? Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel's just gonna solve Probably. it. Probably. That's what everyone was thinking at the time, but Or, or, or Captain uh, Marvel will save Ant Man and Sword will save Tony Stark. Maybe. Mm, yeah, maybe they'll bring Sword into it. I honestly don't know. They could. Sword I think... I mean, they won't be as cheesy or, as they are in the comics with just a giant flying spaceship of a sword. I think it will be, but it won't look a bullet, like Obviously like a sword. Like a sword. But it will be like... What about um, Adam Warlock? He could do things. He was at the end of yeah. Guardians 2. Yeah, he could do things. He could do maybe some mediocre things, but... yeah. From what I know about Adam Warlock, he is... He was going to be in Guardians 3. Like, that was going to be his debut, like, proper. Oh. But Guardians 3 is fucked on at the moment. And then... So I don't think he was going to be in Avengers. Because they fired a man for jokes. Sorry? It, Guardians 3 is fucked on because they were like, Ugh, jokes aren't okay. The worst part about that is... One, he already apologised for them years ago. Two... He's, he's they, apologised for them multiple put, like, times. His, like show calls, yeah. Um, James Gunn's show call while Kevin Feige was out of town, so Kevin Feige couldn't fight for him, and he's the only one that would have had power to do anything about it. Yeah, so the Disney execs planned that to fuck him over as much as possible, mm. and Kevin Feige's furious. Like, yeah, no, which would make sense because he's like, "This is my thing. How fucking dare you? I hired the man." Yeah knowing full well his Twitter background and the fact that he's apologised for it yeah. multiple times and continues Wasn't to like apologise well, by so. not fucking doing it. It was up to nine years ago and the most recent one was 2012, right. which meant 2014 was when Guardian. So there's like a two year difference between that. But he had apologised. He's like, this was dumb. I was going through a dumb stage. Let's move forward. Now Guardian. Like, the gu- oh, it's almost were- like 2012 was a bad year. Oh, for like humor and shit it was just lol random I'm gonna be as <laughs> offensive as possible but it's only a joke calm down scrub <laughs> like the 2012 was terrible let's not go back there they attached a director to the new Guardians movie and I'm like he doesn't have a good like comedy background or anything he just looked like a generic oh he did a movie he needs a job we're putting him on this which is how most superhero movies get their directors well like but, and I'm like I'm gonna feel really bad for the actors yeah but I hope three flops I hope their decision to fire a man because of jokes turns around and bites them directly on the asshole like I hope it just makes like three million dollars I think Guardians at this point is too big. Like, I, don't, I think that there's a lot of people who don't know about the James Gunn fiasco. They might know a friend who knows about it and just like, oh, the original director's not doing that. Like, oh, that's weird. And then they'll watch it and it'll be fine. Yeah, like... But, like, it's not going to be good. This is going to be third movie syndrome where it's not... It's going to be bad. Um, yeah, unless gonna... they wait enough time, which is what I think they're doing, so that, like, they can forget about all this and then announce in 2020 that James Gunn's back. To Taiko T that did... um. Ragnarok, Ragnarok, yes, would have been awesome for him to be on that. Yeah, he would have done Guardians really well because yeah. Thor Ragnarok was basically Thor, the Guardians. Yeah, the I, 
Taika Waititi's and James Gunn's humor are so specific. Like, yeah, they're both funny, but yeah. they're like the reason I love Thor Ragnarok is because of his specific humor. Yeah, yeah. which is why I wanted Ant Man to be done by Edgar Wright because I love his specific action and humor. Um, I don't. I reckon he could do Guardians fine. Edgar Wright being the same person who um, directed Sorry. Scott Pilgrim vs. Um, mm, yeah, that would have been good. Yeah, Baby Driver. Yeah, and, yeah. So if we had. Um, sorry, what, what was the movie? He was Ant Man, yeah. but Scott Pilgrimy, like oh, humor, yeah. that would that. have been fucking lit. But you fucked us. You really well, done did they, it. The reason they <laughs> seemed to have like stopped that was because of um, basically the Falcon scene. That's what all the reports came out was that like he didn't want to include the more bigger MCU. Like he just wanted to make an Ant Man movie. Yeah. And then his report like like he came out and said like I wanted to make a Marvel movie. Marvel did not want to make an Edgar Wright movie. So like just creative differences, like proper creative differences. Yeah. It's not like some dude kicky, kicked another guy's head in and like, it was creative differences. Yeah, it wasn't like, oh, uh, I punched on with half of the board <laughs> board staff and uh, creative differences. It wasn't fan full stick, which no. there was very close altercations in that. Mm. Like the director and the guy who played Mr. Fantastic were like in each other's faces screaming at each other. Just because Josh Trank was a cunt during the filming of that. Oh yeah, no, because he had he was too big of his um for his britches after coming off um Chronicle. Because Chronicle. Chronicle, excellent movie. Yeah. Also Josh Trank's first feature film ever. So he came off that feeling like God. Because it was, I think, Fox's most profitable movie at that time. And mm. then Deadpool came along and then took that. But yeah, but still, you know, he, he yeah. came off it feeling like, like he was a God. But I'm like, shut the fuck up. Max Landis carried you through that. He yeah. wrote an incredible movie. You just told, he just told you what to do. Max wasn't there to help you with this one. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Stop being a little cunt. Fuck you, Josh And Drake. Fox was fucking around with that movie too much as well. So. Mm. Mm. But speaking of Fox, what does the Fox say? Fox. No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get some altercations. <laughs> we'll get some creative differences going around. <laughs> um, I think this is the last movie. This is the last Avengers movie that won't have Fox characters in it. Like the next one will start mm. getting Galactus and Silver Surfer. And yeah. I want the Fantastic Four in this universe. I, More I want than the X Men. Like, I want the X Men in there. I I do want them, but I want X Men to cool off for a while. Like I want like yeah. a good five to seven year cool off period where we don't hear mm. anything from it. You know, what but I, they're not going to. Those you know what I really money. want out of that? I want um, Evan Peters to come back as a different superhero because he was very good at being a superhero. He is an extremely good actor. Watch any of the American horror series; he's an entirely different person yeah. every time. And he was really good at Quicksilver. Maybe give him something with those roles again, but not Quicksilver because yeah. he's already been in the MCU and died, which they could bring back. Just being like, you know, when they do the undecimation or something like that, they could be like, it, depend- it depends it on could, how it could have some weird overlap with the reality stone and then be like, fuck people who have died have come back. Yeah. What the fuck? That could be cool. That could be an interesting way to bring him back. But or Scarlet Witch could get a hold of the Reality Stone. Yeah. Oh, fuck. You want to talk about OP? <laughs> yeah. Yup. I mean, like, it does suit her character. Yeah. What stone did Vision have? Reality, right? He had the Mind Stone. Mind Stone, yes. Yeah, the, 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 the yeah. yellow one. But no, yeah. She could end up with something. It's, it's probably... character. Be house go. You know, I I do and like a good because she's she's a superhero, but sometimes does evil shit. Isn't that right? In she started cops. off as a bad guy, yeah. and then she became. She's an Magneto's Avenger. daughter. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Just that was retcon recently because they, she's not in the com- in the movie. So in the comics, they're like, no, she was a doctor or something. And they're going to revert it as soon as the Marvel get the full rights back. It's going to be yeah. Yeah, he's her real dad. He was fucking Magneto. I don't Magneto. think they're doing anything in the comics at the moment, so nothing matters. And he was... And, like, they, they could just spin it, like, the entire reason that Magneto didn't stick around was because they weren't super, and he was like, fuck, I birthed non-mutants. I hate non-mutants. I'm not going to be around my family. I know it's asking a, a lot, but I would love for Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool 
and Hugh Jackman and Wolverine to be with the Avengers. That'd be fucking yeah. awesome. I don't, I don't think Hugh Jackman's no. coming back. He was talking about doing a movie with Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. yeah. I was surprised. Like, my prediction for Deadpool 2 was that Hugh Jackman was going to show up. Not yeah. Logan or Wolverine. It was going to be Hugh Jackman in that movie. Yeah. yeah. But, no, they got <laughs> Tom Cruise. No, Brad Pitt instead. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's, a it's, a, it's, a, it's a poor man's... Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, he's short. Deadpool will be in those movies. Yeah. Like, I would love it for for it to be Ryan Reynolds because he's done Deadpool amazing. Uh, yeah, and he's gonna show up and be like, "Ooh, wow, another company." Like, <laughs> like I think you guys Disney, do it so Disney much would be different a mistake here. Mistake not to take that on if they have the chance. Because yeah. he's yeah. done that really well, and that makes a lot of money. The thing with a lot of people don't realize is that just because Disney and Fox are merging doesn't mean Fox is still going to exist. Yeah. Like, they're not going to become... They're just going to be their own sub-company within Disney. So Fox still has to make movies, which is why they're still putting stuff out. Um, and Fox could just be in head of the R18 Marvel line. Mm. Yeah. Actually, that's not a bad idea. You could still get X-Force and Deadpool 3 out of that. Yeah, because you um, could do, like... Le- like keep all your Disney friendly stuff with Marvel like with Disney, Disney. Yeah. like all your family friendly shit and then have fucking just brutal gross shit on Fox and not advertise it as much but it'll still make bank because R18 movies of superheroes that are fucking brutal characters will make money because diehard fans are like fuck yes yeah, something that actually represents the character instead of them just having an arsenal of weapons and punching a man. Yeah. Um, the only thing I can think with that is that I don't want it to be the same problem that Marvel and Marvel TV have. They don't like each other. So, which is why yeah. those characters, like the Defenders, will probably never be either on Disney Plus or in a movie, mm. which sucks. Because I think Kevin Feige did, does want to use Daredevil in some capacity. Oh, you, but you if have we ever to. see Daredevil, if, it'll be recast from everything that like all the reports. I'm like, I don't want him to be recast. Like, see, Fox is brilliant. I'm I'm not super against it because if they can get a Daredevil that's around about Tom Holland's age, I know we've keep never him forever. i not keep him forever, but like have because Spider Man and Daredevil in the comics have a rapport with each other. Yeah, so they could build that of being like around about the same age. Like Tom Holland could be. Like, in school, like in high school, and he could be finishing up, like, law school. That sounds like Ultimate Spider-Man, and I don't want that. (laughs) Okay, then they won't make it Ultimate Spider-Man. But what I'm saying is, have someone around about that age that they can keep forever that Spider-Man can do a team-up movie with. I would love to see a Spider-Man, Deadpool, and Daredevil movie. Mm. Team Red. Mm. Um, the boys. thing about Matt is that he's a lawyer like he done like I don't necessarily want to see Matt pre-lawyer for like four movies but is that really what's important or is it the in the red suit punchy punchy well but then he, he has no character development yeah like the lawyer like the reason Daredevil works so well he's a blind lawyer Justice is blind but he's still beating people up, which is against the He's law. still in law school. He still has the aspirations of being a lawyer. He still has the fucking moral code that he has. Nothing has changed except his career. Like, he just hasn't gotten the career but yet. But he doesn't become Daredevil until he's a lawyer. Like, that's... Cause he gets finally into the justice system, and then he becomes... Then he realizes what, like, how fucked it all is. You he already s- has the skills. over here playing dead devil yeah. advocate. <laughs> <laughs> you say that I saw where you're cooking in your brain. <laughs> <laughs> when um, we had an t- entire Netflix series where he was basically dead devil as a child because Stick made him fight. Then he just. Was no, fighting. He has the training. He's just not Daredevil. Like Daredevil is I a know different he's character. Not, like, like Bruce before he becomes Batman. He's just a dude traveling the world, mm-hmm. punching people up. Mm. Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Fuck. Um. But yeah. No. Like I just I think it would be fine. Like the people there are obviously paid much more than I am to come up with good ideas but I think that's a good idea that I'm giving them for free and they can (laughs) use their paid minds to flush it out more and make it something that people would like but it would still be cool to have that 
um, Daredevil Spider-Man interchange. You can have that when they're older. Like, that's the cool thing, because he's an older dude who's fucking sick of this 18-year-old fucking... Just, oh, zippity zap, Daredevil. Like, that's... <laughs> zippity zap, Daredevil. <laughs> like, that's doing? the thing, like, howdy doody. <laughs> Spider-Man's an annoying kid compared to an older, like, 30-year-old Matt. And that's why it kind of great on him. Like, I like that. It's like, it's a Deadpool cable. Um, dynamic. Yeah, but they've already done Deadpool Cable. You don't want to just redo things that are done because people I mean, are already. I mean, like they do it all the time, and then they usually have like a big movie where like Deadpool and Daredevil would, uh, Deadpool and Cable would be there, and then Daredevil and Cable would have this moment. It's like, yeah, they're fucking annoying, and it'd be a joke, and everyone would be like, haha, funny. <laughs> <laughs> All the middle-aged moms are just sitting there in the studio, like, in the fucking um, cinema going, <laughs> that's for, like, watch, five minutes. That's why you watch everything opening day, because then middle-aged moms don't know anything. And then you watch it in gold class, so you don't have kids going, <laughs> every time the villain comes on screen. You go to bad cinemas. Oh, yeah. I go to good cinemas. It's small. It's nice. Lovely. Yeah. You go to ones that are like super aimed at universities and you don't get anyone there. Except car ads. You get a lot of car ads. Like, you fucking, we're, we have no income. Why do you <laughs> think we can afford cars? Yeah, because get a loan. Because there's uni students that the parents actually have a ton of money. <sighs> yeah. I mean, most uni yeah. students now, but I mean, like, they're probably getting more sales out of uni students. Yeah, they're they? getting the spoon, like, daddy's spoon feeding yeah. money. Yeah, no, you're right. The place I go to, you get a ton of ads, but it's all for, like, local restaurants and stuff. And I'm like, that's cool. Which is fine, because, yeah. you know, dinner and a movie, or movie and dinner, like, that works. If you're on a date and you're like, fuck, I don't know where to go after this, fuck, 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 fuck. What's a date? You'll know when you're older. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah. My, my critic. I already said that. Mm. Um, I don't know. Any final thoughts about Avengers? Um, I had another thought, yeah. like, way at the start of yeah, this. Yeah, no, that's fine. I was like, holy shit. And then I forgot about it. And now I've remembered it again. Awesome. What if Rocket rescues Tony Stark? Because he's the last Guardian. He still has a ship. He, or he could just build one out of yeah. Um <laughs> Thor could. Because Thor can now fucking summon the Bifrost out of nowhere now. That's true. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Thor did actually rescue him. See, but also, like, they could just do another scene where, like, Iron Man puts on, like, Tony puts on the helmet just as, like, a last-ditch effort to try and stay alive for a little bit longer in space. Yeah. And then do the same thing as, like, Rocket just cruising along, and then he just hits Tony with the fucking front of the spaceship, and he's like... Where the fuck do you guys keep coming from? <laughs> Why am I always hitting humans? <laughs> they could do that. I yeah, could see that happening. Th- that could be I- a funny rocket thing of just another person lost in space and gets smacked. And he's like, why? I think rocket would be helping them. Because now like Groot's dead. Or every one of the uh, Guardians are dead except for Rocket. So Rocket would probably be like, I'm helping every cunt out because I want my team back. Mm-hmm. Either that, or he's just wasting away somewhere in space, being like, I'm really sad and depressed, and I'm a raccoon who's going to be drinking and gambling and watching lizards die and shit. Mm. What if it's, uh, what's the fucking rock dude from Thor Ragnarok? What if he saves him? They've Korg. got a big, yeah, they've got a big spaceship out there. I think Korg and Valkyrie were confirmed to be dead. Not, not decimated. Not de- So yeah, Korg's just going to be like also floating through space, but it's oh, also hey, just a rock. And he's like, oh, hey, bro, <laughs> need some help? Looks like you've got some oxygen troubles. I want <laughs> Korg to be in every movie. Yeah. <laughs> like, looks like you've got some oxygen troubles. Oh, no worries. I know how to fix that. I like they, how they... They had me doing all sorts of shit in the, in the uh, battle arena. Oh, so, yeah, it'll be fun. Come <laughs> on, let's do it. I'm glad, that, I'm glad they represented him the way they did because in the... Like the animated Hulk movie. movies, or like World War Hulk and shit like that. Mm. Korg was always super serious and angry and like, yeah. I'm a big rock who's not quite as strong as the Hulk, but still really strong. Nah, I'm, I'm number two, I'm the be- second best. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a dollar store of the thing. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And he looked yeah. really weird. Yeah. It looked like the thing, <clears throat> but he had skewed the picture in paint. <laughs> <laughs> You're like... Oh. <laughs> Hey, bro, I forgot my homework. Can I copy it? Yeah, just change that so, make it look <laughs> so it's not the same. <laughs> I think Valkyrie will be in the next one in some capacity. Because, mm. like, she keeps being rumoured in one of these movies. And everyone thought she was going to be three, but no. No. They've got to bring in more people because people are going to be like, this is just, like, Avengers 1 with those, like, four superheroes. Yeah. 
Yeah. What do you think of Hawkeye being Ronan now? I like it. I like I, him. I didn't even know. So he's Ronan. Yeah. Ronan. What is that? Ronan is when he gives up on being Hawkeye and now he's a Ronan. Do you okay. know what a Ronan uh, is? No. A Ronan, Ronan is a samurai who's no longer part of their samurai jutsu. Samurai <laughs> so, so Samurai it's Jutsu! Shogunate. 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 So, one. yeah, they don't have a master anymore and they are basically just a mercenary. Okay. So that's what... Like, because samurais were essentially mercenaries, but, like, business mercenaries. They're like, yeah, no, you have to pay the boss, and the boss pays me per hour to kill per people. <laughs> and then this guy's like, cutting out the middle, man, I'm taking all your cash. And then that's why Ronan's were dead. So, I'm, I'm guessing it's probably Ronan because his family got decimated. Probably. That was, like, everyone thought, like, when we didn't see Hawkeye in three... And they're like, oh, okay, we know why he's Ronan now. I don't think Jeremy Ronan's cool enough to be Ronan with a sword. I think he'll he'll rock it. He, he it looked pretty cool when he did the whole like yeah wiping he, off that the looked blood. cool. But then as soon as his like hood came off, like oh that's right, Jeremy. Yeah, Ronan. his his fucking hair does not look good. It looks like like they've shaved off this, but they haven't done it up, so it's just like yeah. <laughs> yeah, but he's gonna be. He he did pull off a mask, so I'm guessing he's gonna be wearing the mask to hide his shame or something like that. Because you know, like Hawkeye is an Avenger. Yeah, and he's but gonna Ronan's be Ronan's a Revenger. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, well, I don't want to tarnish the um. The thing of, like, kids look up to Hawkeye and stuff like that because he's one of the only people on the Avengers team that don't have powers. Yeah. So he doesn't want to ruin whatever kids are left that, like, really clung to the thoughts of Hawkeye. So he's like, I'm going to wear a mask. But, yeah. Because he's still a good dude. I know, yeah. He's just got shit fucked up going on. And yeah, so I think yeah, he's gonna be wearing like the how mask they've a lot more. Everything, how they're explaining like where Ant Man was. I want to know how he gets. That, yeah, I want to know how he gets out of uh, out of his pickle. Quite a big pickle. Mm. Small pickle. Little uh, boy tickles. <laughs> 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 Any other thoughts? Um, how many people are left? In the Avengers team? There's the core Avengers, which the the first six. There's Rocket, Ant Nebula, Man. Sc- uh, Ant-Man, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch, and... I think she faded. No, no she didn't. She watched... Um... And then she faded as well. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah. Okay, I just there remember. So many, there's so much happening in that. Like, you're like, who the fuck? Yeah. Uh, Okoye. Falcon? Yeah, he died. Who's Okoye? Okoye, um... Bucky? Is that, Bucky's um... dead. That's <laughs> the head leader of Black Panthers. Yeah, 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 yeah. The, 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 the general. Yeah. Yeah, you could should have just said Black Panthers general. <laughs> no, I'm gonna use her name. Yeah, no, I know, but, like, when I said who's that, you could have just went I Black Panthers general. I forgot her exact position. Yeah. Um... I think Shuri's alive. Who? Shuri, his sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 tech girl. Um, I do not remember people's names very well. If they don't have, I'm a very d- surprised about how f- fucking well Black Widow did in that fight scene. She she wrecked shop mm. at in, the end of the, in Avengers in, uh, in three the big fight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, she did fine. She did some Black Widow stuff, but that's the thing. We never really learned the power level of the of the Black Order, so we don't really know how strong they are. All we saw was Magic Guy, and he was the most impressive. Just like, oh, he's fucking up Doctor Strange. That's cool. And Doctor he was Strange only... faded too, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mantis faded, and everyone from the Guardians all the faded. Guardians faded. Everyone on their rocket. planet faded. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thor is still there. Yeah, Thor's alive. Yeah, uh, Thor because because he's the last Asgardian. You can't half the last. That, no, he still. halved half of. He, he he got rid of half of. All living things in the universe, so it could have. Oh, I thought he got like got rid of half of each race. No, no. half of everything. I thought it was like half of all living things. That's what things. he was going through manually doing, and he's like, I'm tired of this. But I, I thought he'd stick with that MO and yeah. just be like, 
half of each I race. I think that's what his logic would be, but I don't think that's how it's going to work. Because, like, there are... He's not the last Asgardian. There was, we didn't see it, but there was an escape ship that, like, there are Asgardians that survived. They went with Korg and um, Valkyrie. yeah. Like, they didn't kill all the Asgardians. Do you reckon Ragnarok will work the same way in Norse mythology? And it'll rotate and all the fucking people come back? I don't know. In the comics it does. That's how, like, Loki comes back all the time. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why he was, like, old Loki, young Loki there for a bit. Lady Loki. Um, yeah, who knows? I want it to. I really want a proper Ragnarok cycle because Ragnarok is really cool. Yeah. Mm. Um, but, yeah... Yeah, I think that's about all we have on Avengers yeah. 4's trailer. I read a list today of yeah. how many Disney movies are coming out next year. It's so many. They're at least going to make $5 billion. Jesus Christ. Because there's Avengers 4, there's Spider-Man, which is not them, but that's Marvel. Mm-hmm. There's Captain Marvel, there's um, The Lion King, there's oh, Toy Story 4, rake. there's Frozen 2... A few more other ones. Plus all the royalties from Kingdom Hearts 3. I actually don't know. How, but yeah, they'll get money from that. Um, yeah. It's going to be a good year for them. It's ridiculous how much they're putting out next year. But... Uh, I like it when they do that, though, because then I'm like, I'm going to go to the cinemas. Because to me, I only really watch superhero movies. I only really watch, like... Or if there's a really movies. good comedy movie coming out that stars John Wick Michael Cera. Comes out next <laughs> That's not a comedy. No, I'm just saying it's he's a good gonna, He's just going to get a pet, like another cat and it's going to be like... He gets a horse. Someone's going <laughs> someone's gonna to shoot him in the pussy and he's going to be like... Aah! And he's going to kill everyone. So again. wait, so is that every John Wick movie or are you just trolling? I mean, he got his dog got shot and he went fucking ape shit and he got kicked out of a motel and he was like... Aah! And then now I guess he's just going to get shot in the horse. Shot in the horse. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption Shot in the horse. <laughs> um, Don't touch H, kid. It's bad for you. But yeah, it's just scary how much Disney owns the market. Well, I mean, that's what every business is aspiring to do. And they just are really good at business. So props to them. Yeah. Like, it's people are like, ah, Disney's scary. And I'm like, no, they've efficiently done their fucking job. If they own the market, then they've done well. Like, and the reason they've done well is because they do good. And if they keep doing good... They do well. Exactly. (laughs) So if they keep... And the more they do well, the better movies they can make. And the more the market will be flooded with just good movies. And that's what I want. I don't want it to go back to the 80s where any fucker was like... Because you've seen that Indiana Jones ripoff that we watched with mum that we could only sit through for like 10 minutes. Yeah, that was... Yeah, that, I don't actually want, came before um, Indiana Jones. It doesn't matter. He's a, but a, what I'm saying is, mean. I don't want those movies anymore. I just want good movies. That wasn't an 80s movie. I, that was a mid-2000s. Okay, but you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Like movies with like talking dogs and a fireman and shit like that. I, no one wanted that. You know what the worst movies are? So just keep doing good the movies things. Movies that come out every year around Christmas time that is exactly the same as every other Christmas. Oh, movie. you mean the Grinch? Every fucking. You mean the Kurt Russell movie. Santa movie? Every Christmas movie is like, ah, oh, I'm I'm an outcast. Don't worry, Christmas is all about family, friends, and love. Ah, oh, what? That sounds amazing. Let's do that. Or it's I hate Christmas. No, don't hate Christmas. Love Christmas. Holy shit! I love Christmas now. It's great. My heart grew three times the size, and now I'm going to hospital from cardiac arrest. <laughs> the thing with monopolies is that when you're the best, you don't try. We've seen that in so many other industries. And yes. then they just ruin themselves, and then more stuff. Well, then fine. Let the them have their own little Ragnarok. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what Disney's going to be. They're going to be I the want, biggest. I kind of want They're gonna Disney to fuck just it up. blow up and then fail. Because Sorry? I want Disney to blow up and then fail so that new stuff can come out. Yeah, well, because it's it's what happens every time. I fucking it's the same with Marvel. Disney's too like powerful. the comics. Yeah, they were massive during the nineties. They, they were so big and they made so many dumb choices. And then, like, holy fuck, we're about to get bankrupt. Let's sell off our movie oh, rights. That's, that's why everything's all scattered because they were about to go bankrupt. And, and then now it's rising again, and it's going to crash, and then it's going to rise, and then it's going to crash. It's just how shit works. Isn't um, doesn't Netflix have a bigger net worth than Disney now? That fluctuates. Like, Mm. I don't think so. Like, I can't... 
I don't know because like people there's specific phrasings people use and I don't know what that phrase is for Netflix there is no way they're making more money than Netflix other than Disney because Disney has so many arms like they have ESPN they own ABC America which is just a, as a core channel they own Disney Channel they own so much yeah and now they're getting Fox and they also own many, 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 many game companies. So they're getting shit like that. Maybe not that many, no, but they like own four. They own quite a few. But Imagine they're being all one of the big ones. That invested a thousand dollars into Netflix when it first started up. I was telling my housemate this morning. Netflix went to Blockbuster. I'm like, hey, let's make a streaming service. The internet's gonna be a better thing soon. So let's like get this platform rolling um, because we don't see people coming out to Blockbusters anymore. To rent movies and like a subscription service for things you can just get on your screen that's not, that's a horrible idea we're not going to invest in that and it looks like fuck you we'll do it ourselves and now they're the best streaming service of all time yeah but also like that's what everyone thought back then they were like the internet oh, what a phase every <laughs> and business then, man yeah every yeah business man. every businessman who was like Oh, that'll never catch on because they don't appreciate it but their kids sitting at home being neglected by their father being like internet raise me <laughs> like so that's how they work now and they're like well yeah the internet does work because a lot of business people just didn't didn't think about it didn't care about it and just yeah. it took over because it was the thing that everyone was like ooh look at this niche thing it became democratized. Yeah. Um, let's move on. What have you been up to lately, Nathaniel? Pac-Man. Pac-Man? Pokemon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, tell me about Pac-Man. Which one is it? Pokemon. <laughs> Misses. Now, I've just been playing Pokemon. What are you up to? I, last week, I finished Spider-Man. And I oh. finished Dragon Ball Xena. Uh, not Xena first. Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, wow. So, let's start from the top. How far are you through Pokemon? Pokemon? Just finished Lavender Town. Oh, yeah. I fucked around in Lavender Town for ages and decided I was going to evolve every single Pokemon in my box. box. Jesus Christ. So I evolved every single one except for Psyduck. I still have a Psyduck, still have a Rhydon. Um, and I still have... Actually, I think they're the only two I have to left to evolve. I just evolved Venonat into a Venomoth, and it is fucking powerful. I should have done that from the start. I should have been using Venomoth from instead of Butterfree all these years. Yeah. <laughs> but um, now I've got pretty much everything. I just um, caught Snorlax, which was weird. The f- only Pokemon that you have to battle in that game. Yeah. Um, there's two Snorlaxes like that, yeah. and that's how you catch the legendaries. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Because I was very confused. I'm like, because at first I just got it down to a certain health and then went to bag. And I'm like, I can't choose Pokemon. <laughs> and then I was like, you have to kill it yeah. and then catch it. So it's different. It's how the raids work. You know? That's so, so weird. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how you have to do that. Um, yeah, I've evolved all the starters. I've got Alolan Raichu, Raichu. The Alolan, only Alolan form that the only thing I haven't evolved that you can get so far is Alolan Geodude. I don't know if you can get Geodude in that game. You can. How? I Alolan, yeah. Yeah, Alolan. How? Apparently, there's you can just trade it. I'm, With I know, an NPC. Yeah, because I don't my, remember finding that person. No, I me neither. I imported mine from. Me neither, but maybe it's um, a game specific thing because my brother has one. It's not game specific. He's got um, Eevee, but he's yeah he he had one that he traded so that he could get Owl and Golem for me, well for him, but I've got it in my Pokedex now I guess. Um, it yeah, but no it's 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 been going pretty good. Um, what else? You said Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters, not much news. It's just Dragon Ball Fighters. Yeah. It would have been a lot better if they had used the arcs to coincide with each other rather than be like, oh, it's a different universe. Oh, it's a different universe. I'm so glad I watched you finish that because (laughs) now I'm like, ah, a resolution to the game I'll never finish. Yeah, no, that story mode. Like, I think, like, they're all good, but by the time you're on your third one, you're like, just fucking end it already. Like, I'm up to... uh, I finished Spider-Man, so that was sad (laughs) Um, and 
the plot twist at the end that looks like the next game like they showing their creative license which is good yeah I'm very interested to play more Spider-Man now because I'm like, whoa, they're doing stuff that you wouldn't even think Spider-Man would have in it. Yeah. Um, the first piece of DLC is good. Yeah. The second one I've heard, it's me. I'm not going to do it until it all comes out. Yeah, that's fair. Um, but I'm also up to the last that's boss fight for too. Kingdom Hearts. Oh, wow. Um, Can you confirm that he's up to the last one? Because he thought I'm he was up. pretty done before. Did you get the final rest? I'm up to, what is it? Oh, that um, yeah, it's he, not the final fight. No, it's not the final fight. It's the um, mini boss before the. He, final He's fight. in uh, End of War Worlds, yeah. but he's fighting the gargoyle. Fuck. Oh, Sherbanog, you're still quite a. Bit. What, who, oh, who's, yeah. what's Sherbanog. It? Sherbanog. It's yeah. from Fantasia. Yeah. Fantasia. You know the musical movie, animated movie with Where? Like Mickey dancing around. I was like, it's got the brooms and stuff. It's very old. I'll, it's, I'll it's, a, it's a second Disney movie ever made. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, that was a musical movie. Yeah. Like, it, it was just like sections of musicals. Oh, okay. um, so he's from a Mickey Mouse movie. Sherbinog is a mythical creature, oh, okay. and, but this interpretation of it is, yeah, from a Mickey Mouse movie, basically. Wow. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm guessing, yeah. I'm guessing that I haven't played any of the others i'm still on the first one but i'm guessing mickey is actually in the world with um riku the world of darkness yeah mm, yeah is that where he is because it kind of feels like that's where he is yeah, <laughs> that's where he is he he fluctuates he goes back and forth between the games oh. i don't really mind spoiling it because it's not it's a, a very it's old. not a spoiler I, like, no, I don't care about spoiling no 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 I'm but like for him because it's not so much where he is it's how he got there why he's there everything like that that's important yeah the detail i can say everything to you about this series and you'll be like okay i still don't understand how why or when <laughs> like kingdom hearts is a very spoiler inc- inclusive thing you just don't tell them everything about why they're there because you can't remember because fuck me there's a lot of shit going on <laughs> and people will still enjoy it and be like holy shit that's awesome that's oh that's really weird when why are they there when are they coming out and you're like ha, keep playing fucker it doesn't help that square keeps spoiling kingdom hearts 3 that's Do why that. i don't pay attention no, to like, shit this wasn't me paying attention this was like just out of nowhere just showed up on my feed i'm like See, what, I didn't see that. That's because what, what you, do you follow mean spoiling, people like who spoil levels shit. or are they spoiling actual it was story? like uh, a character interaction that I didn't think I never thought about happening and then they're like oh and then like this is gonna happen I'm like I really wish that would have been a surprise I'm trying to keep it vague because I want Karen to find out is it Wreck-It Ralph? yes oh okay cool he's in I, the game yeah I know I just really couldn't give a shit no I am lying <laughs> <laughs> no I just I, I don't I really couldn't care like no I know like I the reason you get shit spoiled for you constantly is because you see things that spoil shit constantly I don't follow any of those fuckers, yeah. and everything is a delightful surprise. <laughs> um, but it doesn't help that it's like official put out. Like it's not like a leak or anything. It's like Square's like you're gonna see the ending for this game. Oh, they've the done, ending! They didn't do that, but they've done that before. They like for Kingdom Hearts 3D. They straight up showed the ending like in a week before that game came out. Kingdom Hearts 2, you mean? 3D. Oh, 3D. 3D. Dream Drop yeah. Distance. 3Ds. Because it came out on the 3DS. Yeah, it was in 3D. <laughs> it's yeah. multifaceted. That's why it works. Um, it just works. Yeah. So you still quite a, a little bit to go, but you're much, much closer than you were. Cut I still haven't done Winnie the Pooh. I couldn't be fucked to go back and try to find all those pages. It, yeah. I That world is worth doing, but it's the pages that's... You could just, like, find a guide and just, like, run around and get them and then... Don't do it. It's 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 fun, but also it makes two pay off better. Yeah. But also it's not that important. Okay. It's just... I'll give you the gist of it. Sora goes there. There are no Heartless. He makes friends with everyone. He plays with everyone. And then he's like, bye, guys, because he reached the end of the storybook and then he left. He makes it, he makes friends with everyone, which he's, is he's everywhere just, to go to, but it's really nice. Yeah, like, it's it's really it's a it's just the whole. It's a nice levels. break from yeah. fighting from, heartless every two seconds. Like yeah. you still use the keyblade, but you smack like 
bees or honey pots and stuff like that. And it's not attack, it changes the word to hit. Because you don't attack anything there, because it's a peaceful, lovely place. It's just the wholesome section. Yeah. Um, I wanted to play it because I wanted to do the Winnie the Pooh stuff because of um, Winnie the Pooh movie. Has that come out yet? Is that still coming out? Christopher Robin. Yes, Christopher they are. Robin. Yeah. Oh yeah. wow. I have not. Watched it came it. out in August. I have not seen it. I heard that it was like a pretty yeah. okay. Movie. I saw a bunch of stuff leading up to it, but then General Conover. I never saw it. <laughs> like, mm. Same. I didn't hear anything about it after. That's, that's the thing. It came out and it was a fine movie. Like it wasn't good. It didn't blow anyone's socks off. I'm like, I don't have time to have my blo- socks not blown off. <laughs> um, anything else? No, that was it for me. I got a new job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you give it to me, please? Uh, no. Okay. That's I fine. haven't even been paid yet, but <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah, no. I just I work at the same place he does. Nate does and just in a different Afghanistan go- just yeah no it's a uh, top secret hush hush um, Afghanistan thanks mm. for giving it away a second time <laughs> <laughs> I didn't burn those kids for you to blab about it fuck I mean <laughs> edit that out I can't edit huh oh fuck <laughs> um, podcast over bye <laughs> <laughs> No, yeah, no, I've, I've got a new job. It's a cushy little office job. I'm afraid of getting fat at the end. What have you been up to? Cause Is that it? You haven't done I, I No, because I've been... Nate has been on holidays and stuff, so he's worked about two days this week. So I've been getting up at, like, five o'clock so I can get there and use public transport so I can get there at 8.30. And I get home at, like, 6.30, 7 o'clock, so I just come home and be like... <gasps> and that's it. I haven't done anything because I haven't had the energy to do anything. Where are you up to in Assassin's Creed? I am up to... Fucky. Oh, I just found my mum. Cool. That was going to be my question. Yeah, no, I just found my mum. I did a few things for her and now she's like, destabilize the fucking economy for me. And I'm like, you're all right. (laughs) She's like, go rob their nation chest. And I'm like, yup. <laughs> That's pretty much that game. Just like fuck up entire economies and like n- national security and yeah, you're basically a glorified terrorist. <laughs> and you're like, I'm doing it to find my mother. <laughs> I'm like, That's really deep for Cassandra. <laughs> no, no, I'm yeah. playing as Alexios because my mistake for picking my gender. He he is not a good voice actor apparently. I mean, if you like it, it's fine. I mean, no, no. You were nominated for Game of the Year. Yeah, I know. But, you know, like, he is not as good as a voice actor as Cassandra was. Have you met Cassandra yet? Yeah, no. You meet her in, like, the first 15 minutes. What do you think of her as a bad character? She is just your stereotypical, Mum never loved me. Yeah! Edge, edge, edge! Look at my sword! Edge, edge, edge! Alexios is like that. I just was wondering about her performance. Yeah. It's just phone like in, be edgy. Yeah. It's really not that hard. Yeah. Um, you should, when you get a chance, do find your dad, because that is a mind lock. What, is your dad Zeus? Okay, cool. It's weird. Okay. Um, I'm guessing it's Altair just being like, ha, ha, ha. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me last. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but no, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's it's got something to do with the assassins. Yeah, and you're like that's the assassin. Oh, that's the wow. real quest. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm gonna do all of the. I'm gonna find my family. Shit, yeah. but I'll I'll just get around to doing it. Yeah. Yeah. There's the three main quests. There's your main family quest, dad quest, and then. Cultist. Yeah, cultist. I'm I'm fucking chewing through those fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've already upgraded the spear three times. Nice. And I've only just found my mum. Yeah. Because I'm like, fuck you, culty boy. <laughs> Run up and stab him in the neck, and then I have to stab him in the neck again. I fucking hate it. Cause like, do you have like the hold down triangle move yet? Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. You hold down triangle and you go, Nyah! and you kill. Yeah. Because. It's fucking annoying because guards are super like GTA 5 in that and they are like, they are just, 
you'll fuck with one guard and then there'll be like 30 <laughs> and you'll be like, ah, <laughs> run. It, it feels like the old games from that perspective. Yeah, yeah. It's like you fuck with one guard, you fuck with all of us. Yeah. And then you have to Yo, run. Spider-Man. And then you have to run and hide and hope that no one finds you because if they find you, you have to run for another 15 minutes to hide. Like it's like, it's good kill all of them. Yeah, but you know when you're the same level as them, or they're two levels above, because yeah, when the, a mercenary comes out of nowhere, you're fucked. When you just keep killing guards, and you're like, "Fuck, I need to get out." There's only like fifteen left, so you just like fucking kill them all, and then you forget that killing guards is murder. <laughs> so the person who put the hit out on you just keeps sending more mercenaries, and if you kill a mercenary, it doesn't take a star off, which a star is just like a mercenary helmet. And you're just sitting there going like, fuck, there's just more of you. <laughs> and they're like, ah! And I'm like, pause, hold down triangle, pay off my bounty. <laughs> fuck, I'm running out of money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, cool, murder a bunch more people. And then they're like, and the mercenary's like, I'm not being paid. I'm just doing this for fun now. And I'm like, I just took the hit off my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just run. Yeah, that's fun when that happens. They're always like, come back here, poison arrow. And you're like, ow! <laughs> <laughs> heal, heal. <laughs> that game is just incredibly frustrating. But talking about it, you can look back and laugh. But it's fun. It's also like, leave me the fuck alone. And they're like, no. <laughs> You hit me once. <laughs> I also un- unlocked the um, skin for my horse that is a unicorn. Yeah. Yeah. They're the better one after that. Yeah, Pegasus? Uh, you have to buy that. Yeah, I want to buy that. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh, like, buy. Real, real, money. real money. Real money. Okay, because I had to buy that in the game. It was like 4,000 bucks. Yeah. No, you have to buy with real money the Pegasus. Can you fly? No. Okay, then there's no point. Yeah. Fuck you, Ubisoft. <laughs> No, this is what I'm saying. Fuck you. Um, DLC is bullshit. <laughs> Unless it's actual story content, stop doing it. People will do it. People buy it. That's, That's the thing. People will pay for cool skins. You... So dumb. Don't make me pay real money if it doesn't actually do anything. Like if it gives me a speed boost, if it combines all three horses that you get to choose from at the start into one. That's all well and cool. good for single player games though. But for multiplayer games... Skin, just skins, just skins, yeah. just skins. Mm. Please, <laughs> otherwise, yeah, you fuck around. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. For single player games, definitely give me bonuses. But if it's for online things, I understand that you want to flex on the fucking newbies. You, you know, you, you know, look, look at me. I'm level three hundred. Like I'm prestige twelve and shit like that. And you're like, stop it. You spend far too much time. Go outside. Speaking of Assassin's Creed, I've been playing Syndicate. Yuck. It's fun. Yuck. Syndicate is my favourite. I fucking hate it. It's not... It's no, not it, I, you played Unity, didn't you? Yes, Unity. I enjoyed that more. Oh my god, what's No, wrong? I did. Unity's the worst one. <laughs> Fuck Syndicate. Why? I hate it. Story's boring. Travel's boring. F- combat's the same as every other Assassin's Creed in that I time. I story it's boring. It's fucking... But I found the travel bo- really fun. Yeah. Boring. I fucking... Hate the zip, th- the zip the, f- the zip line. I fucking hate the grapple. I hate it. Grapple. You hate it. I enjoy the traversing of a town. You I enjoy yeah. no. I enjoy the jump, climb, allow yeah. yourself to like. To, it feels like it's effort to kill someone. Like if you're sneaking up and being like, oh fuck, I need to shimmy around the corner so this guy yeah. doesn't see me and climb up and everything. Like I enjoy the stealthiness. I enjoy the journey to the murder instead of just zip, 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 murder. It's fucking trash and I hate it. I mean, you can do that. Yeah, you can still do that. I know, but when that thing's flashing every time you approach a building. You can turn that off. I know, but it's still like. Oh, I have to put effort in to enjoy the game that I don't enjoy? No. Fuck that game. I hate it. And I never played as Eevee. All I do is play as Eevee. I, I just, I just What's never... the other one? Jacob. Jacob. I played as that. Yeah, he punches people. I like it. So does she. No, he gets knuckle dusters. So does she. No, but he's better at them because his yeah. character is, is physically stronger. Yeah. And he's, because, yeah, male. He's like, bah, bah, bah. 
Yeah, the thing is, they specialize. And he's like, far more brutal. Evie can go invisible. So. Oh, for a another cheat to the game. <laughs> oh, I'm going to invisibly climb up this building with a rope really quickly. You can't do that. You can only be invisible for like very. I'm pretty sure you can unlock a fucking perk to do that. You can't. Mm. I'm playing the game. Mm. There's no perk for it. Fuck that. Uh, I hate that game. It's okay. I never paid for the game. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's. I I don't like it. It makes Assassin's Creed far too easy. That's like, it's like playing Dark Souls with a cheat that has infinite Assassin's life. Creed was always easy until the latest ones. Yeah, the thing is, it just made it Batman. That's what that game became. It was just yeah, a Batman game. I didn't like it. I liked it because you couldn't glide and kick someone in the face. Like there was no advantage to being on a building. <laughs> like. You can assassinate. Cool. You can assassinate in every game. But th- I liked what they did in Unity with the, the traversal. It's the exact same traversal. No, it's no not. It's computer. way fancier. Oh, yeah. They did a bunch of animations. Yeah, in All Unity. All those animations are in Syndicate. Yes, but it doesn't look as polished. Because they're all wearing, wearing those giant black fucking oh, trench coats. Yeah, that's right. Because so Syndicate's, d- Syndicate's very um, brown and yeah, uh, yeah. Unity was very colourful. Yes. Relatively more colourful, yeah. Yes. So I enjoyed Unity more. I just found Unity hard to look at. I don't know why, but I, when I tried to play it for the first time, I was like, there is far too much going on on the screen. Fucking, there are so many things on the mini map to do. What there's do I do so next? many like people every time running you walk around. into a different area, there's like a secret or some shit you've got to find. Yeah, fucking, Which, there's people rioting and shit. Like, there's stuff going on all the time. So, I was like, I wasn't a huge fan of Unity. No, I, but I really liked, I liked three Syndicate in the first three games. Yeah, I'm gonna Once give. Two. Three another try with the remaster because I went in with that game way too over. Now that I know what that game is, I want to go in and see if I can appreciate it a bit better. It's I, still I guess good. I just liked it because of the aesthetic. I didn't really. That's the thing. It. I love the aesthetic. I like everything about it, but I just think, thought the main story and Connor were not good enough. But now that I know, Connor's what it a boring is, character. Yeah. Wait, you don't like Black Flag? Not really. No, you yeah. don't like the ship stuff, which is the that whole game. I don't like the ships. Okay. But if you take the ships out, is it fun? I don't know. I've played Black Flag for like a few minutes, but I haven't I haven't really given it a go. But I noticed that you have it on Xbox One and now accounts are linked now, so I'm just going to steal it. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Fucking, yeah, yeet that I was going to say you can borrow my PS4 copy, but I can play it on whatever I want then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, yeah, it's it's a fun game. I know. If you play, if you just jumped in and played on the boat, I understand why you're like, fuck this game. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan of the boat stuff in Assassin's Creed. I guess they've, so, that everyone tells me that they, it's really good and it, 3 was just shit, but I just came off the back end of 3. End, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, I had no. come off the back end of 3 and then Black Flag was like, just ships. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, the ships are way better. Because um, the ships in 3, they were trying to get you to go through like rivers, which yeah. like very specific and you can't fuck it up otherwise you get stuck all the time which is what yeah. happened in that level yeah um, but like, no when you have to do that in 4 you get off the ship you have to follow your ship and just kill a bunch of people to, while it makes its way through the rivers it's fun 4? yeah black flag? yeah okay call it black flag Mm-hmm. It's four. It's called Four Black Flag. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Call it Black Flag. That's what everyone else calls it. As soon as it hit, as soon as it hit Black Flag, I guess everybody stopped calling it Assassin's Creed Six Syndicate. It was like Assassin's Creed Four, but there was just Black Flag, then Unity, then Syndicate, then Four. It, yeah, it was AC Four Black Flag. Like that's yeah, it's but everyone just calls it by the Black Flag. Or, I do the titles call it now. They don't call it. Yeah, well, I, no one because there's no numbers and yeah. they want people. Don't I, numbers I honestly to think to. that people are just now so bitter about Assassin's Creed that they can't enjoy the new games like Origins and Odyssey. Everyone shits on them, but they're, they're solid games. They're not. They're I'd not, rather waste my time doing different stuff though. Like Assassin's mm. Creed, I've done Assassin's Creed. That's yeah. why I'm not a huge fan. Of it. Yeah, exactly. I've it's it. it's more I of the same, but it's also if I wanted to different. play a game like Odyssey or Origins, mm. I'll play Dark Souls. 
I played Dark Souls. Oh, ve- very different games. No, it's but weapon, weapon mechanics as well. It's, yeah. It's the, the, the moment-to-moment combat is quite similar. It's nowhere near as hard. No. Unless you can bump it up to Nightmare, then it would be. But then yeah. different games again. But, like, but then, I think people are just enjoying shitting on Assassin's Creed without actually giving the games a go. Because when you look back at the games, they were never super good. They never made sense. But they were fun. When I think Ezio's was... Ezio's I think that's really why people got so bitter in 3 at the end. Is because people started to fall in love with the storyline, the characters and everything when it hit Ezio. And Ezio was just this awesome storyline that everybody could get on board and it made sense. And yeah. it got to 3 and then everyone was like, what the fuck is happening? Why are we in America? Why is my dad a Templar? Why, mm. What the fuck is going on? And then the main character fucking dies. <laughs> and you're just like... Oh yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Like, yeah, you know it. Yeah, yeah. No, like, and then I, they're I like, get... Abstergo's good. No, Abstergo's bad, and everyone's like, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about Abstergo, and then and then now in the like the later games, they're like, in Odyssey, they are like expressly going, fuck Abstergo, fuck Abstergo. Abstergo is bad. Abstergo is very very bad. Fuck them. I really liked three, outside the Animus. Yeah. The storyline outside the Animus was really good mm, until the end. he dies because that made no fucking sense. Yeah, fuck that. It's like why didn't you just kill off his dad or something? Why did it have to be Desmond? He's mm. the chosen one. Fucking who cares? Yeah. <laughs> why couldn't you kill his thought fucking girlfriend? Mm-hmm. Um, they yeah yeah. No. Syndicate's fun. Like I enjoy playing it. I enjoy Assassin's Creed made has made faults and stuff yeah, like that. Not and I'm not like angry that you enjoy syndicate i'm just fuck that game i hate it the i get where you're coming from with the story like it's not a game like i like the moment to moment like ah just kill this templar i'm like i don't care that this dude controls all of london Mm. like cool and they keep trying to make me sympathize with him like he's just trying to do it because control is good i'm like i don't need this yeah right i I heard that for the last fucking five games shut up but like just the, like the moment like what, the killing that chick who stole the shroud necklace from you mm. like, that was satisfying um, there's a couple of people that are like proper cunts I'm like I mean, it's gonna be good to stab you and it is I just enjoyed um, fighting in the battle in the um I think at the time the arena, Syndicate I haven't even done that yet it's, it's enjoyable you make money from it Syndicate came out on the back end of the Sherlock Holmes movies and it came out on the back end, like when everyone was going through that London steampunk phase, yeah. like all um, entertainment, like even what was it, Dishonored, Dishonored Two. That's the thing. My out. Evie at the moment looks very much like uh, I forget her name. Dishonored girl, Two, lady. The yeah, yeah, Dishonored Two, Emily, Emily. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like at the moment, like wow, you're pretty much the same character. I do like those characters, but yeah. Yeah, but like. But yeah, no, I think I think Assassin's Creed. Syndicate was just that attempt at doing something like that. And everyone wanted Industrial Revolution and they finally gave us what we wanted and I'm like, oh. That's no not what I wanted. I do like the fact that you got to kill spring Jack. I mean, you do, but he gets away. Like, you, you kill him, but then he like... And but then he's like, hippity hop, and away I go! Yeah. And he just That's leaves. the thing, like, I tried explaining <laughs> spring Jack to someone, but all I can remember is Henry's voice. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's not, like, the real Henry, uh, the real spring Jack and, like, that personification yeah. of it, are, like, not <laughs> what I like that character for. For anyone who's not familiar, um, there's a podcast called Last Podcast on the Left. They cover cryptids, serial killers, and all sorts of shit. Go, go listen to that to understand what we're talking about. spring Jack is just some dude who is who jumps, gropes people, and has glowing red eyes. And he was around in the Industrial Revolution. And he was just like, ah. But yeah. So he just basically molested people. Yeah. yeah. And then Basically, any time anything unfortunate happened, women would be like, "It was Spring Hill Jack," and he's like, "Hop, hop." And that's basically. It was just a dude with glowing red eyes who grabbed titties and could jump high. And probably high off his face on opium or something. Yeah, probably like mad. That's probably fairy why dust. they were like his eyes are red. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, just like mm, I'm on my fourth bump of angel dust, boy. <laughs> <laughs> um. Jesus Christ. I've also been playing Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. 
The game's fun. Yeah. No, it's more it Pokemon is. Yeah. It, it's proper in-depth Pokemon again, which I'm like, oh, okay. But everyone bitching about Pokemon Go, like, ah, oh, you get experience for everyone. You, like, you get experience when you catch Pokemon. Like, this is that's in Alpha Sapphire. Like, that's in ge- that gen at least. No, but that's... Experience It's, it's for different. All. It's, it's not inherent experience for all. You have to turn on EXP share and yeah. turn it off so you can train a specific Pokemon yeah. and give them a mad XP boost. You cannot do that and go. You don't really need to do that and go. You yeah. just, like, because they just fucking, here, have some XP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They just give you shit all the time. And I noticed you don't get the Versus Seeker, but I went back mm-hmm. through a um, area um, of trainers that I know I defeated. I'm Well, I'm pretty sure I defeated all of them. And I went back through it and they were like, I want to challenge you again. They didn't give you an option. They just jump you in a battle. And they're still the same level as they were. But yeah, I think maybe it just takes time and then they'll want to battle you again. Maybe I've talked to people again and they haven't fought me. So oh, okay. you probably missed them. Maybe I just missed them. Okay. But I was like, I'm damn certain I did defeat them. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's fun. I like that the game opens up with the exact same art style and like even aspect ratio of the original like ruby and sapphire like it's the same oh yeah no pixel bit. that it's um, a it's a very good thing you've also got secret bases as well is that some diamond and pearl isn't it what the secret bases that was yeah diamond and pearl yeah. when you could get that originally but yeah no, that yeah. was um emerald sapphire and ruby you could get the secret bases that's right yeah you could you could do that it was a tm secret base <gasps> Yeah. That's right. That's what all those holes are. Yeah. That's, yeah. Right. that's where you can make your you own make secret your base. base. But there's no point to it, really. No. I mean, you can, if you play with other people, instead of going to the Pokemon Center, going up the escalator, going to the battle place, you can just bring someone to your fucking secret base and fight them there. Jesus. Fight Club. Yeah. And you can trade Pokemon there. And it's, it's just basically. Um, another Pokemon Center, but you designed it. It was it, it, it's a cool aspect, something that you that's like a designing thing you can do in Pokemon. I guess pretty fun. Mm. I mean, like you do it once, and then you're like, I forgot that I had that. <laughs> but my criticism with this game is that you have the PokéNav. There's way too much oh, to I do on it. I forgot about the PokéNav. There's way too much to do on it. Like you, like you can pet your Pokemon, you can feed them, you can. Like fucking go out and like train them and like make them punch a boxing bag. You can make them bounce. Super training. I fucking love super training. Um, I forgot about all that. Super yeah, training's is- really handy though. Like really handy. I, I had a fucking like because I did it in X and Y. Yeah. So I had a Greninja with the absolute max speed, absolute max special attack, and fucking decent defense. So for a Pokemon who. You know, it's just a starter, so they 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 have good, mm-hmm. um, they have they've got good New like stats, yeah. stats. You can make them impeccable yeah. into what you do. Is Greninja a starter or an evolved starter? Yeah, Greninja he's Froakie. Froakie in Gen Six. Huh. Yeah, I thought Greninja was like just a Pokemon you could just catch. No, no. Greninja is Froakie's third is it evolution. Froakie and then something else. And then um, yeah, I can never remember most of the in between. So. Yeah, all the in between ones. I'm fucked. I can um, I can just remember okay. the original three, and then um. Oh god, I'm drawing a blank on the name. I always went to Fanakin. Everyone's like Fanakin shit. I I never used it really, but. Yeah, because I like I started off and I was like, I want the Firefox, Mozilla Firefox. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But um, then as soon as you start, you find a flying fire type, and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> mm. I just want that now. The <laughs> other criticism I have with this game is that you don't get any good Pokemon for a long time. Mm. Like, I'm up to the second gym, and I'm just barely scraping through. Like, I have my starter, which is a Mudkip or Marsh Stomp now. I have a Poochiana who knows Fire Crunch because of that cool system of that system where you like sneak up on Pokemon and then have like unique moves. Yeah. Um, that's it. It's just all filler for the rest of my party. And I'm like, I have a Taylo as well. Oh, like, you, just, you play very differently than how I do. I get, I build my party from people that I want. So I could go through the first two gyms with just two Pokemon. I mean, that's kind of what I'm doing. Like, but I did none of the Pokemon. Like, I will swap these Pokemon out as soon as I get a Pokemon I want. 
Yeah. Like, they're just like... Like, I, I barely ever start with a full party if I'm starting from scratch. Um, yeah. Like, I catch go. everything I come across for the Pokédex. Like, the first two gyms, I just have the one Pokémon. In the next gym, I'll grab a second one and then just use... I have a Makuhita me. now, so... Makuhita's a fucking lit. Yeah, I'll probably train him up. He is a... Str- yeah. Like, a super train, his fucking speed... Unstoppable. I don't think... I just mm, don't... Actually, there is one that's speedier. Crobat. No, but not if you super train it, man. You can get it to absolute fucking peak speed. For that Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah, but you do the same with Crobat. And Crobat's actually the fastest... Yeah, but it's also not as powerful. So it can hit you and go, ah, and you can just go. Crobat can get pretty strong and kill it. I don't know. Makahit is pretty good. Yeah, Makahit is. Fine. I was thinking about training up Zubat, but then oh, that's how you evolve. I had, a, I had a Crobat. Do you have the little dumpling fucker? Um, yes. <laughs> so it's is Makuhita the evolved form? No, it's Hariyama. Hari- Hariyama is fucking good. Yeah. Makuhita, he's he's okay. Um, but his evolved form is I thought you had to trade to get Crobat, but it's telling me that it's happiness now. Yeah, it yeah. changes. You gotta yeah. You're just gonna make it happy. Yeah, yeah. well are they good stats basically like if I was to use as a poison flying? Okay, yeah. sort that shit out later. <laughs> I don't know, I'm asking you guys. Like, no, like, I, I had one. Because I've never rocked good. a Zubat before, except for, like, those couple levels. It's it's nice to, like, I don't know, but with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, I've been playing it in a way of, like, I've been just trying to fill out the Pokedex, but in doing so, I've been just evolving all these Pokemon and training all these Pokemon that yep. I've never used before, and I'm like, I usually just stick to the mains, that yep. like, I'll pick, so I'll pick a team, and then I'll, that'll be my team. Yeah. But... Like I said before, like Venonat, I never trained one before. Yeah. Venomoth is fucking strong. <laughs> like, yeah, I mm. should have ventured outside, and now I'm gonna do that for the Pokemon games to come. Like, I'm just gonna. Eat. That's what I've, I've been like the last few times I played, and then like more modern. I'm like, I'm gonna try Pokemon I don't use. I, I will keep my starter, and just go from there. Because like my g- Let's Go team was Pikachu, Rhydon, Golduck, um, Arcanine. And I don't remember the other two. But my point is like, yeah. And then I want to do a run where I don't have any of the three core types. Yeah, yeah. Like the types. Oh, like types. I don't want to fire a water or a grass. Like see how far I can go through the game without that. Because those are your core and then... Oh, sorry. Um, you can go from there. Like with those, you can basically do all your type advantages from there. But if you don't have that, I want to try like try going for poison and dark and... Yeah, Fairy do reason. like a, a steel fighting poison dark and yeah. like a psychic. Like, yeah. fuck around with those. Yeah, I've been fucking around a lot with psychic in Let's Go. It's been fun. Yeah, no, um, when I was playing Sun and Moon, I I had a pyro, but I made like a point to myself to, unless it was like just some random encounter grass, I wouldn't use the fire if it was super effective. Mm-hmm just to make the game last yeah. longer so like he would always use his dark moves and stuff like that because he's fire dark yeah but he's just a big wrestling cat yeah big flamey wrestling cat he's nice but yeah like i i, I changed up a bunch of shit like because you know I, i've played a majority of the other games i've always just gone Woo, fire water grass fucking fighting and shit like that so i, I want i like made a point i think everyone's starting to do that now or just oh, all the older people let's yeah. let's change it up yeah. let's not others. fly through the game bug in two days is actually really fun bugs are fun but i fucking hate bugs <laughs> so i don't want to play with bugs <laughs> the thing for bugs okay, misty <laughs> it takes so long for a bug to get good move <laughs> Like, unless you know how the TM for, like, x or something, you don't, like, leech life as weak as fuck. It's, it's fucking... Big. Yeah, but it's annoying. It's it's, it's smashed. Like, like leech, leech life, life is a lot stronger in Let's Go. <laughs> is it? Yeah, yeah they've, like, like, boosted a bunch of stuff, stuff like, like um, the accuracy changes mm-hmm. that Pete Pokemon can do. Fuck you in Let's Go. <laughs> um, and Zorb and Leech Life will just destroy you. Yeah. <laughs> like, but, and see, that's the things you can do with super training as well. 
you can up its special attack, and special attack is just its type. Yeah, move. I know. So you can just go leech life with maxed out special attack, and it will be like, yeah, we're taking a half health each, each fucking bite. You know, like, yeah. just shit like that. It's, yeah. I, I really enjoy super training, and I'm fucking upset that it's gone. It'll probably come... I don't know if it'll come back. No, I don't think it's coming back. No, because, like, I didn't, feel they let's have go it in, like, let's strip everything out so that the next game no, but they pe- still pared down. They didn't even have it in Sun and Moon. Okay. So, I... Yeah, but Sun and Moon's very different. Yeah, it's it's so, it's. I mean, like, but even if you you're like, I miss super training. I want my Pokemon to be this certain way. You can just tr- train your Pokemon in like X and Y, mm. and then just transfer them to the new games. Yeah. Or you can like just feed them like zinc or candies or whatever. Yeah, yeah but that's kind of fucking shit. I don't want to spend money to train the fuckers. I just want to punch a bag a bunch. That's quite cool. Well, yeah. No, uh, well, the bag is entirely different. You actually have to go to the... Shoot the balloons to get it done faster. And they give you special bags. And that's what gives you a massive boost. Oh, yeah. You unlock that later in the game, or you just have to do that You just have to do them. Okay. Don't go through too far through, because once you get to, like, level 50, you can't, super, you can't super train anymore. You get to spec your Pokemon out from babies. And then that's how they carry over. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, it's so people don't just trade over level 100s and then fucking make their stat circle a legit circle and be like, I had the strongest Pokemon ever! Imagine doing that to Chansey. Fuck everybody. <laughs> I mean, that's what Go does. In Go, everyone just puts Chanseys and Blissies and Gyms and then just like, fuck you, you're never going to kill this. What, what the fuck is good about Chansey? Chansey has ridiculous amount of life. Oh. Life and like special defense or defense. Yeah, I don't defense. Know. It doesn't get a whole lot of life taken off it and it's got a lot of it. And, but it does barely any fucking damage. Oh, it depends on what moves you've got and how good its attack is. Like in Go, it's just basic. Like it just, they're just tanks in that. Like they will take mm. anything. I, Whereas, I like, taught in, it I don't Dazzling know. Gleam. Yeah, that'll do something. Yeah, it'll... <laughs> It's gonna be my fairy type because I don't get Sylveon. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Even though I love the Sylveon. Speaking of Go, I finished my Kanto decks today, all one fifty one, and Go, because I finally got Zapdos. Okay. So that's done. On nice Johto. job. Sorry. I said nice job. Bank. Now it's on to Johto. They're finally doing a Delibird event, which is a Pokemon that not in circulation. They mm. take them out and this like because I miss Johto, I'm like miss I'm like I'm eighty eight out of a hundred, which means I'm nearly there. But mm. there's just a bunch of them I just can't get, like unknown. I forgot um, Delhi Unknowns in Pokemon Go? Yeah. I don't know. You you have to go to very specific cities to get them. Oh. Where? Like like there's a bunch like each letter has its own city. Oh, so the like the B unknown would be in like Brisbane. No. no, it's very specific cities worldwide. Oh, what the fuck? So you got to go to, like, Barcelona to get B. Oh, I don't think it quite worked like that. But, like, you have to go to Japan to get, like, this specific one. There's, like, I think the only ones that have been in Australia have been, like, from Melbourne PAX. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That. Yeah, no. So I have a friend who's got a couple of unknowns, which I'm hopefully I can trade with her. But other than that, it's just, yeah, no, unknowns are the pain in the ass. Yeah. And yeah. Fuck, Fuck that. that. Yeah. Because um, what, there's like 24 of them? 25? 26. 26. I forget how many letters are in the alphabet. There's 24. And then there's... I got it the first time. But there's two more. Mm. There's question mark and exclamation. I thought there was 26 mark. letters in the alphabet. Mm, Maybe 24. I'm going to count. <laughs> count mighty slow there, fam. Anyway, so keep continuing. Yeah, one of the best counting by syllables. I'm just gonna Google it. <laughs> <laughs> syllables. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't know how you did that. Okay. Because um, when I say L M N O P, I get L M N O. That's a joke from something we saw. I don't remember what it was. L M N O P. Um. Yeah, and then I got Smash. Ooh. It is Smash. Yeah, you, the storyline you just start as Kirby, right? Yeah, yeah. Kirby's twenty six, so it'll be twenty eight. Yeah, it's because okay. Kirby is the well rounded one. It's the ha. Huh. Huh. No, it's because Sakurai, the guy who makes it, his first game he worked on was Kirby. 
So yeah, and that, and he is just a well-rounded yeah. fighter. Like he, you can absorb that person and get their special attacks and stuff like that. But he is also decent as the pink ball he is. Yeah. Um, this there's a couple like <laughs> this is my new MP3 player, my Switch and Smash. Yeah. Because you can go into the music lineup and it has a bunch of songs from all the franchises represented in that game. Oh, it's okay. It's got a fuck ton of Castlevania music. It's got a fuck ton of Pokemon music. It's got two Final Fantasy songs. Final Fantasy Seven songs. I'm like, oh, but, like, it doesn't even have one winged angel. Okay, but that's well, like, yeah, because it starts off with like 172 songs. Hmm. No, not a 100. 772 or something. The fucking yeah, they're the fuck on. And you unlock more. Like I've unlocked two more songs. Cool. The Mario list is so long. Well, yeah. That they're the Mario Kart album as well. Jesus Christ. So you can just play with... Yeah. Uh, maybe? I haven't actually got to that. Like, I haven't found that song, because I don't know what it's called. But it's, it's like a Mario Kart album. Yeah, it's like a Mario Kart album. Like, it's a Kart album. Like, it's a Kart album. Like, it's a Misk section. Like, you can get a Tetris. It's cool when it's like the Gerudo Valley song. The Gerudo Valley song from Ocarina has a really good remix for it. Mm. Um, there's so there's a really good album list, and then there's like there's a Tetris thing. Um, there's an arrangement done by Yoko Shimomura, the Kingdom Hearts um, yeah, yeah. composer. That's a really good track. Um, I don't think anyone comes to Smash like yeah, let's talk about the music, <laughs> um, but it's really good. No, how good they punched yo! Ah, good. Like I'm not very good at it because I'm used to 2D types fighting games like Injustice and Fighters. But how how big punch, yes? Big punches. Big punch. I'm slowly figuring out how this works. Me happy big Persona punch. Persona 5 is coming to Smash. Yeah. That was interesting. It is really interesting. That's odd. That's an odd choice to come to it. Like, yeah. hey, basically a life sim. Yeah, have them fight. Yeah. Well, they fight. They like Pokemon fighting in that. But, mm. um... What is po- what is Persona? It's a high school game, and then they go out, and then you can summon Personas, which are basically Pokemon, and you fucking obliterate people in a turn-based game. But other than that, it's a dating sim game. Oh. Yeah, it's 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 um, Doki Doki Literature Club with Pokemon battles, without the dark, scary, bad things that happen in Doki Doki. Oh, maybe not as dark, maybe, but it gets dark. It's not the, know, the, dark, dark, it's dark, not dark, the yeah. game is self-aware. Um, so yeah, the reason why that one is interesting is because that game's not even announced. Like, there is no Switch, there is no Persona Switch game. So people are thinking Persona Five Crimson coming to Switch, kind of like Persona Four Golden came to Vita. Like, people reckon Golden is like one of the best games on Vita period and like a really good game. Overall. But did they play Golden Abyss? Yes. Oh. Golden Abyss is like this. Like, <laughs> I I never played it. I just know it's a it's a delicate topic to bring up. Don't, no, it's not. A, a lot of people hate it. No, they don't. Everyone's like it's a good Uncharted game. It's the second worst Uncharted game, which means it's better than Uncharted One. Mm. Like it's not. Fight for Fortune is what people hate. Fight for Fortune is a card game. Uh, Golden Abyss. Everyone's like it's just a Vita game. Whoever thought card games were a good investment? Is just, just, just Let's have some it, digital it card games. It is a good investment it's because not. people get so much money from those games. Like the Magic digital game is having like a fucking five hundred or fifty million dollar championship this year. Christ. Yeah, half the but I, I don't know. For insane. card games, I I would well prefer to just have a physical copy of the cards and just play with my own deck. You can do that. Like I'm, I don't know for which game specifically, but they're like the digital game just needs to get popular enough that they'll put out cards. Um, yeah. With oh, what was I saying? Yeah, Smash the fighting and that's good. I haven't gotten very far in the story because I got stuck. You only start with like the like the original sixty four cast, mm-hmm. um, and then you unlock as you go. Like every time you do something, you'll come out like a new challenger approaches, and then you have to beat up Peach to unlock her. <laughs> what about so you do do you start off with just Kirby in the story mode yes in regular smash mode you un, you have Mario Donkey Kong Link Kirby Nez. Pikachu Ness Fox no not Ness yeah, not, he's not original he is original no, I not. played him in the, the emulator Ness is an original 
I'm 100% certain he is. I can confirm it yeah. now. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah. I can um, confirm it later. Yeah. <laughs> when you buy the game. Shithead. Um, yeah, he's not in it. Ness, I don't think he was in until maybe Brawl. Uh, characters, here we go. No, Ness was in it. Um, it doesn't have a proper list. Damn it, Wikipedia. All right, we'll sort it out later. We're sorting it out. Oh, no, this isn't what I wanted. You gave me the full list of everything. Um, but yeah, no, it's good. What else was I going to say? There's a really cool thing where, like, if you have a specific way you want the controller to be, you mm-hmm. can make a controller profile. So oh, okay. I didn't like attack being on circle and jump being on square and triangle. Yeah. What I did was swap attack over to square. Mm-hmm. So now I've got attack and then, like, um, the special on X. Yeah. Uh, I'm also playing on a PlayStation controller. Yeah, yeah no, um, I got that. Yeah, that's uh, what I was I was translating as you were going. Yeah. For <laughs> anyone else, um, fuck you, learn controller mapping. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then, you know, um, so yeah, I swapped them around, and then you can create a profile, like, and then when you choose your character, you can select, it'll be like, I forget what the thing is, but you select it, and then you can choose from them. Like you can like because you can play with Joy Cons like the normal the grip. Pro. You can do Pro controllers, which is also like a PS4 controller, or you can do GameCube controllers, and you can customize them. You can have any button or whatever. The only mm. thing you can't do is have movement map to the D pad, which is something I wish you could do. No. They're just taunts, which is fine. It just when you want to move, you take can the be, L. More or less, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, just let me fucking move, like using the D pad because I'm used to fighters. The, the Fortnite thing? You didn't go long enough for me to get it. Okay. You gotta do the clap. Oh, I gotta get the clap apparently. I'll be back. It's from. <laughs> 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 um, the game's fun. I'll, I need to sink more time into it. You sunk my battleship. Is that all? I think that's all, everyone. Alright. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a like, subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions, or what's your opinion on Smash or Avengers Endgame? Um, yeah, and until next time, catch you later. Bye.